this. Please welcome Marina Bakker and everybody. Marina Bakker. Sensational! I mean, Thank just you. wonderful. You're... It's all for you. No, I don't believe it is. But thanks. I... I... Did you just get married? I did. I did. When? Literally, like two weeks ago, over Thanksgiving. Congratulations! Thank That's you. Lovely. Thank you. Yeah. That's me. Really... Should you? It's traditional after a, a, a wedding to, you know, take a, some small vacation time. Yeah, we were like, we're sick of each other. We got our whole lives together. It's fine. No, we're going to take a honeymoon eventually. We're both we're, working right now, so it wasn't possible. Is your husband an actor? He's a filmmaker. Oh, right. So he's in the director as well. Yes, director and writer. Nice, that's good. I so he scored. can direct them, you can be in them. Right. The children can work for you. <laughs> right. <laughs> It'll be like a slave labor. Have you decided, do you want to have kids? Yes, I do eventually. How many? Um, three? Six. Wow. Are you gonna babysit? No, I got, I got my own kids, lady. I, I, what about, uh, four? Okay. Four. Well, we negotiated and we settled. Yeah, yeah. We'll I'll, I'll make sure I'll tell Austin. Now, uh, where, where do you guys live? Uh, good question. <laughs> Somewhere between L.A., New York, Charlotte, Vancouver, wherever the job is. Really? You just kind of... Yeah. Well, that's what you're doing kinda that thing around. right now. That's all right. When you have kids, you'll have to stay in one place. Well, we, they're very portable. They're little. You can fit them in suitcases. <laughs> You know, you're right. right? You yeah, but you know what happens is you take them around different places, they get all covered in germs. Oh, well, but then they get really strong. Yeah, you're right. Okay, I'm going to take my kid. You know, I should bring the little one out here a few nights. Yeah. Are you croissant pie, lady? <laughs> bring my baby out here? Don't be ridiculous. I might. Would you give me money if I did it? <laughs> Hey, uh, so I love this Homeland show. It's fantastic. Thank you it's very much. It's absolutely fantastic. Thank it's you. very intense. And the yeah. season finale is uh, sad. S Sunday. Sunday. Yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> and it's an hour and a half. Yeah. What happens? Yeah, in it's it? a big one. What happens? You yeah. want to tell everything? Yeah, just tell me everything. Cover your ears. What? No, I want to. I want to hear. But if I told you, they'd kill me. Yeah, I think. Do they kill you in it? That because there's a lot of people. That, I mean. <laughs> Is that one of the things that happens? No, I want to stay. I want to. No, no, no. I no. I understand. It's really. No, a, a lot happens. It's very action-packed. Um, it's it's really intense. The show is relentless. It it doesn't. It really out. is. It can, yeah. I know the 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 gentleman that plays your husband. Yes, uh, Damien Lewis. Damien Lewis. Yeah. Is he British? Yes, he is. That's an amazing accent. He, he is. Does. He's incredible. He actually stays in his American accent as we work. Uh, and he is he actually a ginger too. He's a ginger. He is a ginger. <laughs> You can definitely tell my character's, you know, taste in men. Both those guys are kind right, of ginger. Right, yeah, because yeah, the, fri well, the, yeah. the friend is, uh, is less ginger. A little uh, less ginger, yeah. but he's actually more, more real ginger in real life. And what about your uh, new husband? Is he a ginger? No. So you don't like gingers, <laughs> is what you're saying? I like him bald. Bald? Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. God. No, not like that. <laughs> Jeff, we found a new friend! Hey. hey! Would you mean not like that? Do you like men to have shaved undergarments, if you know what I'm saying? I said not like yeah, that! Yeah, but I'm saying when you said no, it made me think yes. So because... when I say no, it means yes? No, no, no means no, definitely. Okay. But I mean, I thought you were just kind of playing mind games with me there. Mind games. <laughs> no, 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 no you, mind games. So you like men to be hairy? Uh, oh, now you... <laughs> Do you watch a lot of 70s say. porn, is what I'm asking. Yes. Have you seen 70s I, porn? I, the Tootsie Fruits. Is, it's, you know, actually, where, where we got married. The 70s. Tootsie Fruits. It's, it's, what it, it's where it's at. We you were, can't I, say that here! <laughs> this isn't cable! This is CBS! You can't even say... Rocky Dinga. Here! You can't say, oh, like, like we're all bohemians that can talk about pubes willy-nilly, are you? mind because we got married in Mexico and there was a clothing optional, I kid you not, clothing hotel, hotel clothing next hotel. door to really? where we were getting married. Where is so, it? Where is it? I want to go. In, in Tulum. So you must have imagined our families coming out to the beach. Oh, you know, it's a nice morning on the beach and they look to the right and there's... Naked Germans. Yes. <laughs> I bet you would be Germans, right? They try, they're a little like, let's go over here, you don't have to wear clothes. And they all run over there and... 
Yeah. It's yeah. always every time I've been to a naked beach, which is only uh, you know a few hundred times, I and it's always <laughs> naked German dudes. <laughs> it's always the dudes. They're always dudes, and they're always, always dudes. there's always a lot of you know a lot more guy and <laughs> hardly any equipment. <laughs> seems to care. I think it's bizarre. No, Did you go naked with your husband on the beach? No, I had family there. Yeah. <laughs> My father-in-law was there. Yeah, I guess. All right. <laughs> so uh, where, do, where do your family come from? Where... Uh, they're from Brazil, actually. Well, come on! Well, all right. I walked right into that yeah, one. Brazil? Come on! You know what? Yes. And that's exactly what it's like. And you know what? My mom would have gone clothing optional. Would she? Probably. I'm glad she didn't. What about your husband's family? Where are they from? Uh, they're, they're from California. They're from the United States. They're from California, the East Coast and West Coast. The East Coast and the West Coast? Of California. Weird. Of California? No. <laughs> California. The East Coast of California, eh? <laughs> I want to go there. I hear they have clothing optional beaches with lots of Tootsie Fruits. <laughs> I can't say that. She said it first. <laughs> So, um, well, that's, that's, well, where do you make this film? Where do you, uh, the, the homeland, where do you make it? Charlotte, North Carolina. I've been there. Have you? Yeah, I like Banking it. Banking yeah. capital of America. Yeah, and they've got a really good NASCAR track there. Yes, that's right. We yeah. never, I, I didn't get to go. I really wanted to go. You should go, uh, the fun. Charlotte track, they have a, uh, you can learn how to drive a NASCAR. Oh, that would be Yeah, fun. yeah, it's very cool. You can go on, like, a, when they're not, not a race day. It's very hard can on a race day to get. Can you do donuts and stuff? Can you do donuts? Yeah. Sure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell's that, Jeff? You watch a lot of NASCAR. What's a donut? Oh, man. <laughs> That's disgusting. I'm never going to hear a car honk in L.A. the same again. Well, the, the thing is, if you had a car that sounded like that, everybody would think you were a clown. <laughs> Do you like clowns or are you scared of them? I'm scared of them. I'm a little That's bit scared. Yeah, a little scared of them, too. Only when they smell of alcohol. <laughs> when they smell it You know, I saw once in Santa Monica uh, in the Third Street Promenade a clown who was getting moved on because his time was up in the little performance area and he was all angry at the cop. Uh -oh. And it was the, one of the most hilarious things I have ever seen. <laughs> when you see a clown yelling at a cop and the cop trying to deal with it appropriately because people have cameras. Right. I bet that clown forgot he looked like a clown. I think he did. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're out of time. <laughs> Which is a shame, really. <laughs> what? We're out of time. Yeah, we are out of time. I know. <laughs> I was just asking for a little more time. <laughs> I can't have any more time. Do you want um, uh, awkward pause, mouth organ, uh, or uh, do you want to go for the big cash prize? Mouth organ scares me. Really? Um, you surprised me. <laughs> Awkward pause is no fun at all. I'm going to go for the big cash prize. Go for the big What time is it, Shadow Steve? It's time for the big cash prize. Right, all right. Here's how the big cash prize can be won. It's very simple. Two, uh, two different ways. You can actually answer a question. Mm -hmm. One question, you win 50 American dollars for use at any uh, nude beach in the country. Or you can guess what's in my box. <laughs> Is that a euphemism? No, 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 Ed. I imagine a box in my head, and then there's something inside it, but I don't know what it is. Only Jeff knows what it is. You guess, and then if you're right, Jeff will tell you you win 50 bucks. I'm going to guess what's inside your box. Guess what's in my box. All right. I'm imagining a box from the 1970s. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I've imagined a box. There's something inside it. I don't know what it is. Guess. Hair clippers. Jeff? Hair clippers is correct. <laughs> If you're watching Craig at home, you're missing half the fun. Consider this your formal in She's a very beautiful actress. She's guest starring on the big CBS show, The Mentalist. Tomorrow night at 10 p.m. Please welcome back to the show, Morena Baccarin, everybody. Morena Baccarin.
you say that to all the girls. No, I've watched no, your show. No, I don't. No, I don't. I, well, I do, but with you, it's a... Uh, it's, uh, <laughs> how are you? You look great. Thank you very much. Now, you, how long have you been married now? <laughs> Already on that, huh? Yeah, just, uh, just trying to keep up on it, see how it's going. Uh, let's see. It's been November, December, January, almost four months. Okay, that's the tricky period. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's starting to get rocky, no, you know. No, come on. Now, did you have a nice Valentine's Day? First Valentine's Day married. Um, yeah, I I kind of dropped the ball, Craig. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anyone would mind. Just well, pick it up and keep going. <laughs> I'm gonna keep that in mind next right. time. No, what happened? No, no, um, he, you know, I woke up in the morning, there was this nice little box next to the bed. He got me this, <laughs> yeah. this beautiful... Uh, <laughs> box, balls, yeah, I can't get I past know, it. I know, I so, uh, know. So he got me this really beautiful necklace and I suddenly great. went, oh, we're doing gifts? <laughs> Uh-oh, I, I, didn't, I didn't get him anything. Oh, no, you did. But <laughs> I was saved by FedEx. FedEx arrived an hour later with this wedding album that I created on iPhoto that, that I ordered for our Is there parents. anyone else you would like to plug while we're talking about it? <laughs> it arrived from the guy I met in Rite Aid. <laughs> is, that, is that right? Oh, we don't know? Oh, no. So, <laughs> I just get a kick don't back. mention any fast food restaurants <laughs> and we'll be all right. Sorry about that. Uh, and it was our wedding photo album. Oh, that's lovely. And so I thought, here, happy Valentine's Day. And But now he's going to know. <laughs> so that didn't go over so well. No, I, you know, I think he's going to be good. I think, uh, you know, he's going to wake up and go, nah, I'm good. <laughs> uh, where, have you gone on honeymoon yet? Because you hadn't gone on honeymoon I know, yet. we still haven't. We haven't had time yet. No, you got to go. I know. You got to take care of yourselves, especially before you have kids. Because once you have kids, your life is ruined. Again? I mean, it's awesome. But... <laughs> Again with the kids thing. Well, I have two kids. It's on my mind. I know. You know, I haven't slept in years. <laughs> well, it's good. You're you're a good birth control for me. I'm not going to do it. You know, if I had a nickel for every time I had a woman like you say that sentence. You know. So, no, you should go. You should go. Where are you going to go? Let, let um, I, I, I don't know yet. We were talking about Thailand. We're going to Brazil on Sunday for... Well, that, that can be your honeymoon then. Brazil is great. Family. Family and honeymoon don't go together. Well, you can avoid your family. <laughs> but I just said it on national television that I'm going oh, to Oh, nobody Brazil. watches this. <laughs> Particularly in Brazil. You think everyone's dancing around Brazil going, Quiet, quiet, it's time for the Scottish guy! <laughs> And I'll be arriving in the middle of carnival, so there'll be a lot of dancing. Ooh, really? I don't know what kind You're of You're Brazilian, I'm aren't you? Yeah. Fala Portuguese? Fala Portuguese. Wow, you learned that since last time I was here. Oh, yes, I did. <laughs> what else did you learn? That's as far as I got, but I'm working on it. I can teach you some curse words. If yes, you can. Okay. In Portuguese? Yes. Great. Ready? No, I don't think you can, can okay. you? <laughs> No, you can't do anything funny. No, here. I even. <laughs> oh, you saw the monologue then. <laughs> I... Well, you go. Well, you just avoid your family and go. You say you say hi to everyone, and then you head off into the uh, Amazon. Sure. Yeah. There you are. Yeah. You could There'll take... be flamingos and things. Have you ever been near a flamingo? Is there a flamingo in Brazil? I don't know. <laughs> You're in Brazil, yeah. I know. Sorry. Did you ever see one when you were there? Uh, no. Well, there you are. Then. <laughs> Have you ever seen a flamingo up close? No. They stink. I'm sure they do. Oh, they're awful, right, Jeff? Horrible. Oh, horrible, yeah, you know. We, we talk about this a lot because we go to the zoo all the time. It's kind of our thing, you know. Mm. <laughs> like, he's John Cryer and I'm Ashton. <laughs> I could tell. Thanks. <laughs> You're humoring me now. <laughs> all right, we're out of time. Uh, so it's going to take a while. Um, right, of course. What do you want, uh, awkward pause, mouth organ, or the big cash prize? I hate the awkward pause choice. I did the cash prize last time, well, so... Well, you the cash prize again. Well, no, I think... Did I... you win? Yeah. <laughs> you bet you did. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think I want a mouth organ. can't curse in Portuguese, but I can say that. That's why we have it. <laughs> All right, I'll allow you one Portuguese cuss word. Really? 
Yeah, they'll bleep it, but you can do it. Okay, ready? Yeah. Girl with the dragon tattoo. That actually wasn't a cuss word. I know Portuguese, and if you beep that, you're stifling the, our First Amendment rights. So. Crocky dinga. Uh, oh, my God. <laughs> that is a Scottish cuss word. They don't know what it is. It's fine. Have you ever been to Scotland? No, I'm... I, I have. I have. I'm sorry. Oh, wait, I wait, forgot, wait. I forgot. You, you forgot my homeland? What the hell? I went to Edinburgh for the French festival. That's the capital of Scotland. I know. It was awesome. And we... I, I was there doing the tattoo. The tattoo? And I was walking around. I've got around. tattoos. <laughs> wow. And I was walking yeah. around and everybody was going, are you going to the tattoo? And I was like, what's the tattoo? I don't it's, know. It's a big, and then I figured out, yeah, it was yeah. the big the big, it's the big military yeah. uh, parade. Exactly. It's like a West Hollywood parade, except a little different. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of guns. Lots of, uh, yeah, but not, not these guys. Well, yeah. some of those guns, but more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's a Scottish cuss word. You better look that up in your little dictionary of other countries' cuss words. <laughs> you sack of... <laughs> <laughs> hey, right, no, we're, so you want a mouth organ then? <clears throat> Sorry, so you want a mouth organ then? <laughs> <clears throat> like dogs at uh, the other studios were going to go, What? <laughs> As long as that's not the one you were using before. No, 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 you get a fresh one. Look, okay, you just uh, open up the box and you get one of your own. Look. I get to open a box and take out a mouth organ? <laughs> really? Don't say it like it sounds dirty. Actually, do say it like it sounds <laughs> Yeah, uh, now, can you I... play? Because if no. you can play, you can win the golden mouth organ. Well, which way do I blow? Well, you just... How do I blow? <laughs> <laughs> I think you know just fine. Uh... <laughs> Imagine it's Valentine's Day, you woke up and you forgot to get a present, all right? Touché, touché. Seriously. <laughs> that, that was too much. Wasn't that, was that too much? Yeah, a bit. Yeah, a little bit too much, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Made myself laugh, though. Ready? Okay, now, what, you, what kind of atmosphere do you want to go for? Kind of subdued, or do you want to go carnival -y or oh, what do you want? Ooh, carnival -y, yeah, let's do that, like a carnival, like a, like yeah. a dunch -ka -dunch -ka -dunch, you know, okay. like that. All right, Jeff, can you do it and start us yeah. off with a yeah. dunch -ka -dunch? What we should do? We should have Secretariat come out and dance amongst the flamingo feathers. Ready? One, two, three, four. Absolutely beautiful. Oh. Just lovely. Thank well you. done. Thank you. I did it for you. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I uh, I want to say congratulations to you. You had a little baby, didn't you? I did. Yes. He's 12 weeks today. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Is he here? No, he's not. We uh. keep him hidden at home. <laughs> That's right. Was it ever, ever, ever in fine? I knew that. I knew it was going on because I was watching Homeland the last season, and you were like carrying laundry baskets and stuff. Yeah, stirring like, a lot of uh, pods. Where's Brody? Has he gone to the Middle East? What's happening? Not to mention that you know things Why? were expanding. Uh, I that he, he, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, how is the luckiest little baby in the world? He's really good. He's yeah? really wonderful. Yeah, yeah he's... Three months. Are you sleeping? No, there's no sleep happening no, in our house. No, no, there's no sleep for years. No, it's a good thing that he's cuter. We'd send him back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You'll think that more than once. <laughs> a lot of no sleeping and a lot of peeing in my face. Boys do that. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Well, I've it wrong. <laughs> Which boys are we talking about, Morena? 
I said boys, not men. Right. Oh, so the sign of a man is someone who doesn't beat in your face? <laughs> you can set your standards a little bit higher, lady. <laughs> Listen, congratulations on this film with the drunk husband. <laughs> is that your husband in the film? Yeah, he is. He's, well, he's my fiancé. Right, but you're cheating on him. No, well, that's, it's deceptive. I'm, I'm trying not to cheat on him. It's, my old high school flame comes back, and he's trying to stop the wedding, and there's, it's really sweet. Oh, so he does that, Elaine! Yeah, 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 that whole thing, and I'm trying to say... Have you, you ever know, gone to a high school reunion? I know, I refuse. You, you should. Well, my high school's in New York. It was too big, you know? It was like 3,000 people graduating from really? the class. Yeah, it was nuts. What was the name of the school? It was LaGuardia High School, Performing Arts. Oh, I don't know that. <laughs> Is that, is that the fame, fame school? school? I was yeah. going to say it's like, fame! Yeah, exactly. And then, so at graduation, you all jump up and freeze Yeah, frame? that's exactly what yeah. it was like. Really? At, the, like, at lunch, it was dancing on the tabletops and that Really? Kind of it thing. was all of that? Totally like that. <laughs> well, I don't know. I didn't go to much of high school, actually, to be honest. <laughs> so this, and are you done with uh, Homeland then? Is that over or is there yes. more? Yes. Oh, it's done? Well, the show is not done, but I think I might be done, given oh, really? what happened to Brody. Oh, yeah, when Brody, spoiler yeah. alert, but yeah. he dies. <laughs> Just a little bit. Yeah, he died quite a lot yeah. in the uh, episode I saw. But, you, I mean, you still have to be in it a bit. Like. Yeah, I, I hope so. I think that they're going to somehow wrap up the family stuff, but, right. um, but I'm, I'm free. Did you know that you were uh, pregnant when the season started? <laughs> Well, funny story, actually. The producer said, you, you might not be in this season because we're just going to follow them abroad more. And my husband and I thought, great, let's have a baby. And then the day I found out I was pregnant, um, the producers called me and said, actually, we're going we're gonna to have you back this season. I said, should we have coffee um, and talk about some stuff? <laughs> you can't drink coffee when you're pregnant. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> actually, can you? Can you drink coffee when you're pregnant? You can, I think you can have a cup. I don't drink coffee. because oh, you don't? It makes me crazy. How long have you been in Al-Qaeda? <laughs> <laughs> I love coffee. Coffee's my drink. I, 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 don't, I can't imagine life without coffee. I do tea, you know? Oh, how terribly British of you. Yeah. <laughs> have you ever been to Britain? Yes, I have, in fact. Really? Have you ever been to Liverpool? I have not. Tell me. It's, uh... <laughs> Well, it's a town where the Beatles are from. Uh, uh, one of the Beatles, Paul McCartney, we've got a photograph of him. Uh, the, uh, are, you a, are you a fan of the Beatles at all? Very much what so. What kind of music do you like? Do you like the Beatles or more Bowie. One Direction? Bowie is my thing. Bowie, oh, I love yeah. David Bowie. Oh, I yes. love David Bowie. Well done. my son has a little Bowie onesie. It's pretty cute. Really? A little uh, Ziggy uh, Stardust. See, I like that. My, uh, my youngest, uh, when he was born, well, he doesn't wear onesies anymore, but he had, like, Joy Division and Ramones nice. and stuff like that. Why, why not onesies anymore? I mean, where do you uh, put that off? Are you three. supposed to stop that? Well, yeah, you know. Oh. Well, I, I'm wearing them now, but you, right. you, you get out of them for a while, then you get back into them right, later on. Your shirt yeah. doesn't ride up. Yeah, right? yeah, you, you have to wear it. And... When I danced at the Moulin Rouge, true story, <laughs> they, uh, they, da they put a thing under your shirt and hold it so you, when you're dancing around, your shirt doesn't ride up. Yeah. You want to do that next time you're pregnant on TV. <laughs> <laughs> Think about that. Right. So you're into, uh, you're into, um... Tell me. Uh, what was the band you were into? Bowie? Yeah, Bowie. Yeah. 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 <laughs> no, I love Bowie. That's it. That's it's great. That's why I've never asked them to be on this show. Because I thought, you know what, like, if you have someone who's, like, yes. really, really an icon, yeah. you're like, you don't want to meet him. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's because then... You're, Just cause, but he's a nice guy. Have you met him? I have met him. He's, he's a really nice He is? I, see, I don't even know if I want to know that about him. <laughs> okay, I he's, To you. me, he's the kind of, you know, heroes. There's a lot of... Yeah. 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 the dumb. All that. Yeah, that's really good. I, I'm a huge fan. I used to dress as Ziggy Stardust. Well, really? This week. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I, I love David Bowie. Did you ever see the movie you made, The Man Who Fell to Earth? I, I didn't see that one, but, I, but the labyrinth is what I'm obsessed with. Oh, yeah. Do you remember yeah. that one? There's a little creature coming yeah. in here. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. He doesn't say that in the movie, I don't think. No, no, but I went with it. Do you like that fantasy type movies? I kind of do, yeah. I'm really? a little bit of a dork like that. Yeah. yeah. I don't think you're, I could never describe you as a dork. I, I'm a dork. Really? I'm dorky. Are you into the Dungeons and Dragons? Yes. Yes. Really? Yes. yes. Were you in I a got, Dungeons? I got a little excited. <laughs> yeah, really? <laughs> Let me say it again. Do you enjoy Dungeons and Dragons? <laughs> yes. Really? Do you still play in a group of... No, uh, no. I don't really know how it's done. Uh, uh, no, I just... The cartoon I was really into. And I was... There's a cartoon of Dungeons yeah, and that's, Dragons? Yeah, that's how it started, isn't it? Is it? I think so. I mean, that's... I look forward to your very angry tweets, everybody. <laughs> how can you...
did not know that. I hate you. Are you on the Tweety? I, I stopped, you know, just getting pregnant and having a baby. Yeah, like, I hear life kind of stops. I know, I know. I, I go on it for a while and then, you know, I get dragged yeah. back into the real world. Yeah, it's got, exactly. Where people have to talk to you in more than 140 characters. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's boring. Are you, you'll have more babies, though, obviously. Probably a Don't lot. Don't tell me that now. Mm, mm, no, you have to. You probably have a brace of them. What is that? How many is that exactly? About seven. Did you just make that up? Yeah, of course I made it up. I don't know. I, I got two boys. That's, that's it. I'm done. I like boys. I don't know if I could handle a girl. Even though there's peeing a lot in your face, I, I think I, I could do a boy. It writes itself, really, doesn't it? <laughs> I like boys, but even though we have the peeing in your face, they don't, how do you pee in your face? Well, every time oh, when I'm they change the diaper. Him, it's yeah. constant. Every, it's like he waits for me to take his diaper off. And there was an incident. There was peeing. And I'm like, okay, that's cute. And he's like laughing. You know, he thinks it's hilarious. And then there's projectile pooping. <laughs> And then... That's a talented kid. You want to phone Cirque du Soleil right now. Oh, that's not even all of it. All right. I pick him up and I'm, you know, taking all that stuff out that's been pooped I'm very on. familiar. His butt's pointing that way, which is where my window is. Pooped right onto the window. <laughs> you know, you get a video of that, you make a little money. And then... He puked all over himself. What are you feeding this kid? <laughs> I think the question is, what am I feeding myself? Oh, yeah, yeah, of course, you'll still be doing all that. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> well, there you are, we're out of time. Uh, Excellent. Yeah, yeah, we're absolutely uh, done. Fancy an awkward pause? I've, I did one with Chris earlier on. I feel in the mood for them again. Oh, I see we're already out. <laughs> As Hagrid had said, what would come would come, and he would have to meet it when it did. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> that was uh, an energy orgy of fiction. That, now that you yeah, prepare for the next book, Harry Potter and the other st things I have. <laughs> Harry Potter and the... What's the one after Goblet of Fire? The, 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 the Phoenix. Harry the Potter's in the... Shadow. Gauntlet of... The Onion Domes. The onion dome. <laughs> Harry Potter and the Onion... Onion Gauntlet Dome. That's a, that's a good one. I'd watch that one. You, you wish at some point they would just... I can have a fade out. I don't understand. Yeah. <laughs> Sensation. You sound surprised. No, I'm not surprised. <laughs> what I am delighted about, though, are your shoes. Wow! <laughs> is that... Are, are, do you bedazzle your own, or is that a... That's a big... That's a high-fashion item. bedazzle or bedazzle? <laughs> if you want to talk bedazzling, I am in. Let's go. <laughs> Like, I can't believe you even brought that up. We never talk about anything dirty know, on this true. show. This is a very clean show. I need to stop right now. <laughs> Wait. Are those kangaroo balls on your desk? Uh, yeah, over here? Yeah, yeah, I keep them here. <clears throat> Carrie Fisher gave me them. She went to Australia, met. Wait, wait, how could you recognize kangaroo balls at such... <laughs> like, you just, you went... Ugh. 
Did, did you know this kangaroo? I also eat my candy hole. Settle down, settle down. I was just. You've taken it right up to the edge there. You take it right up to the edge. Let's pull back a little. Right, it's just right. the beginning. A little bit, because we got we got to last all night. Yeah. <laughs> so. Um, I was just in Australia, and they're, they oh. have those everywhere. They're all over the place in the well, market. Well, they're attached to kangaroos, though, in Australia, aren't they? <laughs> you, it's a, isn't that a lovely country, Australia? It's gorgeous. It's oh, beautiful. what a place. I yeah. did, it's, it's stunning, although um, we went to this place called Cape Tribulation. Well, that's in, the, uh, in Queensland, the isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, I haven't been up there. It's beautiful, right. um, but I learned that everything can kill you there. Yeah, they've got these, they got the funnel web back spiders and the... Cassowaries, do you know those things? They're no, like what's these that? big birds, they're really colorful, colorful and they have these insane claws and if you run into one you're supposed to just scream and run because they kick you to death and claw you. Why it's, don't I know about like this? Yeah. Birds. It's crazy. But, but the way to defend yourself is to scream and run away? Yes, that's what I was told. That's probably what I'd do that's anyway. Weird, so. Right? That. <laughs> Box jellyfish, because yeah, the box swimming. jellyfish will kill you, and then there's the red, uh, a red uh, cigar shaped thing. Um, <laughs> red back, there's a red back spider, a red back spider, um, I think. Okay, take your word for it. <laughs> and kangaroo will kill you as well, really. Yeah, if it's in that type of mood, I, I fed them with my bare hands. Yeah, they, well, they were probably tame ones, okay. Yeah, and koala bears, do you see koala bears? Yeah, I, I, I held one. Yeah, it's they're really lovely. Cute. Do you know they only eat eucalyptus leaves? That's all they yep. eat, and that's and, why they sleep all day, right? Because it gets them high. Yeah, their diet, <laughs> their diet gets them high. But if humans eat eucalyptus leaves, they don't get high. I found that out the hard way. <laughs> <laughs> what do you get? A stomachache? I just feel a bit furry, <laughs> cuddly. Why were you in Australia? Are you on vacation? Yeah, a little bit of vacation, a little bit of work. It was beautiful. Mm -hmm. Work? Were you making a film in Australia? No, I was not. I was um, signing autographs for all of my fans. Oh, right. I have Good a lot you. of fans. Right, that's great. Well done. <laughs> well, um, that's nice. Did you go with your husband? You haven't been married that long, have you? Yes, I know. I, a year. I just celebrated my one year anniversary. Congratulations! Thank you. Yeah, well done. Thank you. That was, that was part of the trip. That, oh, really? It was yeah. an anniversary thing? Yeah. That's a lovely thing. A lovely. year, that, in Hollywood terms, you're now part of the elite. We made it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we're good. We made yeah, it. Now yeah. we don't have to try so hard. Right? Sure. <laughs> I don't know if I'm the best guy to give any kind of advice about relationships. What do you mean? You've been married for a while. Uh, yep. <laughs> Got it. No, 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 we're fine. No, we're fine. But I was married before that and before that. Uh, <laughs> see where I'm going with this. So for a while. Yeah, that's true, but not always to the same person. <clears throat> there you go. But you're an expert on marriage. Yeah, no, I'm not getting married again. I'm married to the person I'm going to stay married to. That's it. I'm done. You too, I'm guessing. Yes. Right, good for you. Yes. Cheers. Cheers to that. All right. <laughs> Listen, the Homeland thing is a massive hit, isn't Thank it? Thank you. Yeah. Awesome. My goodness. Thank you. Yeah. It's, uh, I mean, it's, re it's really a, an amazing show. It's like Downton Abbey with killing. Yeah. <laughs> I love Downton Abbey. Downton Abbey's great, isn't it's it? It's fun. Jeff I and I like it. to talk like Downton Abbey all the time. <laughs> Don't we, Jeff? No, oh, rather. Yeah. <laughs> we talk like Downton Abbey all the time. It's absolutely... What was that last part? I don't know. I just went... <laughs> 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 Listen, uh, we're out of time. We're very rushed tonight. Uh, would you like a coconut? Yes, it's oh, my okay. favorite. Yeah, um, all right. Um, I've got, so what about this one here? This is a, uh, now, do you want to uh, keep it uh, for later or do you want to smash it now? I'd like to smash it, please. Well, here's the thing, though. I've found out recently that the milk inside is actually a laxative. Because <laughs> I, was, I was drinking it every night and <laughs> I, I was barely making it home some nights. As well, so. So I'll smash it and you drink it. No, 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 no. I'll, oh, do you think you can smash this coconut? I'd like to try. If you can smash that coconut, I will give you $50 in nickels. Ooh. You get three shots at smashing the coconut. What? I'm going to stand over here Wait, I don't with get some weatherproof. Uh, what? I don't get any tools. No, just smash it on the desk. You'll be fine. <laughs> Thank you.
<laughs> well, it's who makes mouths. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's, it's astonishing. <laughs> Please welcome the vision that is Marina Baccarin, everybody. Marina Baccarin. Woman, you look sensational. Oh, just stop. amazing. Just stop. All right, all right, come on. No, no, you do look good. I tell you, uh, just be, before we get started, I just wanted to say uh, Brecken's introduced a new thing about when you finish the conversation, <laughs> you get up on the desk and. Uh, he totally screwed me. <laughs> I was going to do that anyway. Well, a week and cut has been out, even although this is a live show. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm doing great. Good. Have you recovered? Because I know you're Brazilian and there was the World Cup and all that. We're not going to talk about that. Oh, really? Oh, okay. <laughs> We're not going to talk about that because I'm going to cry. Do you want to see me cry? No, I do not want to see you cry. Seriously, how are we ever going to live this down? I think, actually, uh, Brazil will rise from this and it'll actually be a good thing for them in the end. It will stop. Really? Yes, you know, a little bit of uh, humble pie. There'll be a g better team than I have no idea what they're no doing. No humble yeah. pie. We should have won. It was on our well, soil. Well, I, I don't know. I mean, I, when you get beat, you know, by over six goals in one match, <laughs> you know, at that I point, know. it's kind of like, it's not a lucky win. You know, it's like, <laughs> you weren't robbed. You I know? know, I know. The joke in my household as we were watching was like, well, I gotta go to the bathroom. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna miss another goal from Germany. I should wait. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, do you follow the soccer or are you just... Well, really? I do a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, mostly the World Cup, but... Um, I follow some Brazilian soccer. See, but I think that most Americans, because you're kind of an American now, right? Yeah. Right, right, right. So I think most Americans, soccer's like swimming. You know, like, for four years, you don't care about it, and then you're like, no, oh, USA, I swim like crazy! And then, like, yeah, I'm going to watch <laughs> swimming on TV? I actually love both, because I'm a swimmer. Oh, are you really? Yeah, so I do two things that, you know, people don't care about. No, I, 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 I'd watch you swim. <laughs> Do you, you want to show us any of your swimming moves? On what? your desk? Yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, imagine this. No, hey, hey, Easy. Wait. Excuse me a second. A dream on. <laughs> Please. So is that how you, is that your keep fit? Is that your secret yeah. for your swimming? I do, I swim, I love it. It's really? very meditative, you know? It's yeah, nice. well, I, I swim for, I get bored swimming. Do you? Yeah, unless there's a shark or something. <laughs> you Thanks. ever done that? You ever swum with sharks? Actually, I have in Australia. Oh! Look at that. You never know what you're going to find out about me. I'm interested. Hold on. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> why were you swimming? With, was it by accident? Did a shark come up? or did No, you no, go? no. I was um, in the Great Barrier Reef. Right. And you go scu not scuba diving, uh, snorkeling, as one does. Right. And uh, there were reef sharks around, and we... And oh, reef sharks. Come on! <laughs> they're the, sharks! They're angel rice. The reef sharks. <laughs> Reef shark? Why, if there was a reef shark here now, he would ask me if I knew where there was a store. There, the reef shark is the pointless shark. You would, okay, why would I swim with real sharks? Uh, you, well, you make a fair point, but they, uh, well, because they're, you know, they're exciting, interesting, amazing animals. Very frightening, though. Yeah, yeah, I'd rather just see them in a zoo or something, an aquarium, you know? Well, right, yeah, fair enough. What do you do? The, what kind of animals do you like? Do you like horse riding, kangaroos, any of those things, dingoes? Uh, I was... <laughs> dingoes. No, they still babies. I'm oh, but well, you got a baby. you got to stay away from the dingoes. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> what is it? What age is your baby now? He's nine months today. Oh, congratulations. Nine months today, August the 7th? Yeah, oh. But, yeah. So, he... Nine months today, August the August 7th? August 7th, yeah. 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 Or is he... <laughs> Why, well, it sounds to me... He's old for his age, so he looks like ten months for his age, right? <laughs> It does. Yeah. Like nine and a half, yeah. That's yeah. good. Are you, and everything going okay? You get sleep? Everything's great. We, yeah. uh, no, no, there's no sleeping happening. No, in my never again, actually. No, no, but he just braved two months in Morocco, actually. We, I was shooting a film there. Morocco? How was that? Yeah. With a baby? Um, not great. <laughs> I'm going to say not great. Right. It was hot. It was really hot. It as was hot really as it dusty. is here today, probably? Hotter. No way. Whatever it is here, it's. To, uh, on August 7th, right. it is hotter in Morocco. I, I've, been, I've been to Morocco. It, I liked it a lot, but I don't know if I would take a, a young I know, there. in retrospect, yeah. probably not the wisest yeah. choice, but 
But, you know, it was, um, it was a good experience for him. What part of Morocco were you in? Uh, it was in a city called Warzazat, which is in the middle of the... De well, not the middle, it's sort of the mouth of the Sahara, you know. Ooh, it's wow. Yeah, it was really dusty. Uh, yeah, very dusty, kind dry. Of gross, and uh, and um, yes. we were doing a biblical, a biblical epic called really? Red Tent. Which, I read that book. Yes, yeah, yeah. Red Tent, yeah. It's a chick book. Yeah, yeah, well, you know. Uh, <laughs> know your enemy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I read it a while back. Uh, I can't rem remind me. It's about uh, lady. Vaginas. Yeah, well, vaginas, yeah. yes, but uh, but it's about the. Uh, it's the a retelling. Pro a it's a. No, it's the retelling of the Jacob, Rachel, Dina story. It's the, you know, the red tent is where the women go to like menstruate and give birth. You know, right, 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 right. Um, and it it involves all the wives, Jacob's wives. Oh well, yeah, that's know, I remember all that now. Yeah. All that stuff. I didn't get all the way through it. <laughs> The truth comes out. Yeah, no, I remember reading it now because I thought it was about a brothel, and then I'm like, oh no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Almost. I felt like I was in a brothel. I didn't really think it through when I took the job. I played a midwife, and it meant that I was going to be elbow deep in vaginas the entire time I was shooting. I'm listening. <laughs> I showed up to work one day and nobody bothered to warn me that um, I, somebody was giving birth and she was actually, actually going to be naked. Well, uh, well, it was an actress pretending. But she was, at, like, she took off her underwear and I was kneeling and she was standing. Slower, slower. <laughs> my, and the camera was behind her and my face was in her. Yeah, well, this is the greatest movie I've ever heard of. Yeah, yeah, no, I know. The first time you see one, they're pretty frightening, but but soon you learn to love them. I don't want to learn to love them. Well, I don't know. Keep an open mind, for God's sakes. Uh, no, so <laughs> when's that coming out then? <laughs> um, I don't know. End of the year. All right. Well, that's. Uh, I'll, yeah. I'll be looking for a gig yeah. run about then. So, uh, so I'll, I'll maybe uh, you know help you with it. Okay. I, that's what I'll do. I'll go and do promotional work for a movie I've got no part of. <laughs> you can maybe be one of the babies. Uh, no, that doesn't work. It doesn't work out. I did look like a baby once. <laughs> a yeah. long time ago. Once I shaved my entire body in Winnipeg and I looked like a baby. Too, was, too much, I think. I was bored. I was bored. I bet you were a cute baby. Nah, apparently not. Fat little whiner, they say. <laughs> Aren't all babies fat? No, they cry all the time. Or maybe just my baby. <laughs> <laughs> Is your baby a crier? Or? No, no, actually he's not. He's really good natured. We've yeah. put him through a lot and he's he's a truck. He just like trucks on. That's great. No, I I, I feel for you though, with uh, nine, ten months old. Oh God. Yeah, no, yeah. there's no sleeping. I, what do I do to make him sleep? Uh, nothing legal. Yeah. <laughs> Did you do the whole sleep training thing? Yeah, yeah, I did actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah a I'm couple scared. of times. Yeah, it's, it's all right. Yeah. It's all right. It's tough, you know. But it'll train you for how much pain you're going to be emotionally for the rest of your life. True. <laughs> and him, yeah. Well, no. He, you think it over it, right? Yeah, they'll be fine. You yeah. Know, it's, you're you're the one that's going to be worried until you're old and then die. You know. <laughs> this has been really uplifting. Thank yeah, you. That's, that's being a parent. You know, yeah. you just you'll never sleep with both eyes closed ever again. Right. I won't. I'll always forever worry about him. Yeah. And yet, it's awesome. Yeah. I know. It's the greatest love ever. I know. It's the craziest. Uh-oh. Isn't it? Yeah. Ah, well, good times. Uh, well, we're out of time. You do look amazing, though. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Marina Bagger,